friends we are presently studying this model this is the induction motor we are modeling the induction motor from various lectures we are discussing this thing and we have discussed the name plate and we have discussed the m tab now we will discuss the model inertia and load these three tabs we will cover in this lecture okay before starting today's lecture i want to tell you that on this channel you will learn various electrical design software like etab dixel and power factory pv assist dialex evo autodesk in addition to these softwares you will also learn various uh, technical details technical things related to electrical design engineering let us start the today's lecture before starting the lecture one of my subscriber has asked me a question he contacted me and he asked the question why do we motor starting studies why we do motor starting studies what is the necessary of doing motor starting studies an induction motor is modeled to perform the motor starting studies these studies are important because they help in predicting the starting current and voltage drop we also know all know that the starting current of our induction motor is very high so motor starting studies helps in predicting the starting current and voltage drop predicting the voltage drop at starting is necessary to ensure that voltage at the other equipment does not fall below acceptable limits which would cause malfunctioning of or tripping of the sensitive devices similarly predicting the starting current is essential to ensure that the cables transformers generators can handle the irrish current or starting current without overheating or damaging the equipment it is necessary also to ensure the protective devices such as overload relays breakers do not trip during the starting period even though the motor starting current is several times higher than it is normal full load current so these studies assist in proper cable sizing voltage drop mitigation protection coordination to ensure smooth and safe motor operation that is why we are studying the induction motor starting studies because at starting the current of the induction motor is very high due to very high current due to very high current there is a voltage drop high voltage drop so this voltage drop should be within the acceptable limits and when the current is high so we can select the cables accordingly so that they do not get damaged when the motor starts when the motor start get started another thing is that uh, relay coordination that at starting the relay at starting the currents are very high so um, at that time the relay should not trip so this is the malfunctioning that at this time it is by default by nature that the starting current is high we do not want that the relay should trip at that time so to these reasons we are doing or by performing motor starting studies now come to today's lecture in previous lecture we have studied this m tab now we will study the model tab when we click on the model tab you will get this window here in this window this is a torque slip characteristics of the motor and this is a current slip characteristics and this is the slip power factor characteristics these three characteristics are displaying here and this is the equivalent circuit of the induction motor this is rs is the starting uh, starter resistance and xs xs is the starter reactance xr is the rotor reactance and xs this is the rotor resistance this is the copper loss and this is the magnetizing component okay we can click here parameters and estimation and tuning these are the values the, uh, you can see here the some values are by default entered this is not by default they have taken what the data we have provided him during name palette and m tab this is the data this is the same data i will show you on this slide one minute here you can see i can zoom it you can see, see this is the locket rotor and this is the locket rotor current the locket rotor current here this is the m tab 
and their local local current here is 420 same is here 420 the power factor is 20 the power factor is also 20 here this is the torque and this is the local product torque is 59 the same the local product torque is 59 t max t max is the maximum torque is 170 and slip is 0 0.73 this is slip you can see this is from the name plate 0 0.6 this is the name plate tab i have taken the screenshot from the name plate you can see here it is 0 0.73 same is 0 0.73 the power factor at 100 percent is 89 and efficiency at 100 percent is 97 okay this is the same data what we have entered this is the same data here we can now click on that here we can what we can do we are uh, trying to find the estimate the parameters of rs xs xm these are the starter re starter resistance starter reactors magnetizing component uh, re uh, rotor reactors uh, these parameters are trying to estimate i can click estimate now the parameters are calculated by the uh, software this is the precession if you keep 0 0.1 the precession will be low and this is the acceleration accelerating factor accelerating factor is how quickly a it up can calculate the values if you keep it very quickly it can make errors then if you keep more slowly it will take more time to calculate the things so optimal value is between 0 0.1 to 0 0.3 mainly 0 0.3 to 0 0.2 to 0 0.3 3 is the uh, optimal acceleration factor so i kept here 0 0.2 i can click update now you can see here you can click update now the parameters are calculated and i will click now okay and i will go to the now inertia page now here is the inertia calculator in the inertia calculator we have to uh, calculate these things are by default entered uh, and we have to calculate we have to enter the w r square so, uh, here we have enters 86.25 but we have to enter the w r square the w r square can be uh, obtained this is the in the mode moment, moment of inertia of uh, induction motor it is present in the data sheet i will show you the data sheet here moment of inertia j is given 0.02 you can see i will show you this is here 0. Point, you can check here it is 0. Point, uh, 0. Point, 0. 0.0.2097 kgs meter square but i think it is wrong because when i checked this it is wrong it is not it is not kg meter square it is actually 10 meter square so we have to calculate the jd square by 4 jd square by 4 jd square by 4 you have to use i have to use this formula to calculate the inertia load inertia that is j is equal to jd square 4 jd square 4 now how we calculate this value i will show you here moment of inertia what is given is 0 0.2097 so 0 0.2097 into 1000 that is 10 meter square 1 ton is equal to 1000 kgs we have multiplied this and it becomes uh, 209.7 kg meter square so wr square is equal to jd uh, square divided by 4 that is this formula i will show this formula okay so i divided this by 4 it becomes 52.4 now i will enter this 52.4 in the induction motor data here 52.4 and you will see we have the h is calculated 25.38 how it calculates the h i will show you here h is the inertia constant it is the ratio of mega joules divided by uh, mva mega mva this represents the storing stored kinetic energy related to the machine rating h is equal to 0 0.5 into w r square into omega square divided by s s is the rating of the mva rating of the machine so 0 0.5 w r square is 52.4 and omega square omega square you can calculate it like, like this omega square is equal to 157.08 and rating is 22 kilo volts and power factor is 0.89 and efficiency is 0.97 when we calculate this you can find the value is 29.25.37 same is calculated by the our 25.38 same is calculated by our etap model okay now click okay 
now we have uh, covered two things in page model and now inertia uh, now in inertia we have calculated now load in the load we have to go for we have to enter the speed torque characteristics speed load torque characteristics okay for that i will click okay i will go to the library and in the library there is a motor in the motor we will go to the load model in the load model there are two model types one is polynomial and another is curve we will go for the curve okay in the curve we will uh, add click on add and we will name it induction motor so i am we want to we induction motor or can enter we will keep a induction and click ok now this is the speed we have to uh, delete this all one by one you can click and delete one minute mm. one minute delete 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 continuously you can delete this data what is that data is given here you have to delete one by one okay now at zero the torque is you have for that you need a speed uh, speed load torque characteristics for this motor i have a speed torque characteristics i will show this is the speed torque characteristic of this motor when the speed is one this per unit when the per speed is 100 percent our torque is 46.5 percent see when the speed is zero the our torque is 140 so we can enter this data in here zero and it is one 14 point okay now add uh, then we will add enter now where is 20 percent at 20 yeah at 20 what is our at 20 34 34 add speed 60 so 20 40 40 and here it is 115 one 15 15 we have done here wrong at 80 at 20 at 20 it is 0 0.09 percent okay nine percent okay you can see here the curve is going to be is format formulating one minute i think it is wrong 20 40 it is 19 i think it is 19 percent it should be a 19 percent 14 no no uh, i think this is a wrong one minute i will check from my data one minute one minute okay we will enter the data then we will see what will happen and then at 20 at 40 and we have under at 60 uh, at 60 we have to enter 23 at 80 34 80 34 at 100 46.5 100 46.5 okay okay the curve has been made then i will click uh, close close now we have uh, then we have discussed the m tab model tab and inertia and load tab in the load tab now the, you can see here the model is we can select the curve load model 
and we can select the curve in the curve there are two one is induction and another is turbo i will click ok and then i will click ok now i will show one thing you in the load tab this is the uh, the first one is the torque speed characteristic and second is the load uh, torque speed so you can see there are two curves are shown <coughs> okay now in the next lecture we will go for the uh, motor uh, acceleration and i will show you how to we perform the motor acceleration and, and dynamic studies of the motor thank you